and more. And joining me now for a review is Cardi. Hello again, Cardi. Obviously, Bukola, you've picked a side in the ongoing Euros. And I think it's England. Well, whoever, it be because of whoever defeats like England again, I'll, I'll, I'll switch, I'll switch, switch allegiance. Is that football promiscuity? But let's take a look at what is trending this morning, what you're speaking about. And just, that's just on a lighter note for football fans, clearly. Uh, but the big one here in Nigeria, Bukola, as you said, is the, is the suicide bombings that we saw over the weekend. Something that we thought we had gone way past in this country. But sadly, it happened and a lot of people have been reacting to that because it came as a shocker really uh, you have uh, the emir in the area saying 30 people killed some other figures saying over 20 uh, officials still saying at least 18 people killed but this is what you're saying about that or those suicide attacks it's important to mention it wasn't just one not two four different locations the first user we're taking on this one is nigeria picking a uh, user is joseph yali says and it's a question really this terrorism, has it come to stay or there's an end to it? I think you're taking that question out of the minds of all Nigerians, really. Goes on to say, a very unfortunate, precarious situation we found ourselves. And yet another question is, how did we get here? The question is, where we caught napping? Yeah. You know, as you, it's, it usually is when it comes to matters of insecure, insecurity and, you know, other subject matters. This one is coming from Pato Pato who says terrorism is bad in all ramifications. Imagine including involving a baby in this kind of heinous act. May we never go back to the, to the era of suicide bombers, or is it already upon us yet again? I mean, you have to uh, really look critically. Suicide bombing is very rare and it speaks to very deep issues. For a lot of the suicide bombers, they <laughs> promised them martyrdom, tell them that what you're doing is good. So they made death look good. They made it look, look like something you should celebrate, but particularly going out in such manner and taking lives uh, with it. So we need to talk about that. Is martyrdom being glorified in that area? What is the social situation there in terms of poverty, even the psychological situation and all? But the next user is a uh, rule of law NG saying Nigerians are asking if we're back to the beginning with suicide bombings. My question is whether the Nigerian government has done anything to stop suicide bombings or the insurgents in general. Those of the Nigerian government did what it always does, respond with force, which misses the mark. And, and to pick up on your posers, Kadi, um, if martyrdom, if suicide bombing is being glorified as some sort of martyrdom that will be rewarded in the life after, mm. why do it with a baby? Will a baby also get some form of reward? The baby hasn't had a chance at life, you know, uh, you know, to fulfill their dreams and aspirations. Why cut short the life of an individual? And, you know, to think of it, it takes more courage, you know, to die in a certain way than to, you know, um, take on life's challenges. I, I think it it's just, just speaks to the depth of the radicalization. And I think it's something that the government needs to go deeper into. I know there's been a lot of work really from the military and other security agencies, but obviously this thing is thriving again. Mm -hmm. From other reports, we understand that some of them were even arrested and said that uh, there's way more people being groomed uh, for this. So clearly it is deeper than this. Maybe they told them if you do this with a baby, there will be more reward. It's just warped. But that is what radicalization mm -hmm. is. That is what all of those... Um, and you know what? Where is their recruiting ground? Well, let's see what the next user has to say. Very, very important question, really, uh, that you asked uh, Bukola. And it's from Haruna saying yeah. it's going to be good if federal, state, and local governments can come up with programs that will reduce the hardship in the land. Otherwise, with the present situation, Criminals can easily recruit more members to cause more trouble in the land. It will even shock you, Mukola, mm -hmm. that there's even online recruitment. Online. Some of these uh, insurgents target users online, look for people that have uh, traits of depression, people that have low self-esteem. I mean, these things are really targeted and there's a huge network of it. So, multi-dimensional, <sighs> and we have to do this together. Like poverty, right? Let's go to the next talking point, I believe. And this time around, this is about the consequences yet again of our socioeconomic challenges. 103 Nigerians deported from Turkey arrive at Abuja Airport. And the first reaction is from Omoya teacher, I believe. And they say, if Nigeria works for all and sundry, it will 
will be optional for any Nigerians to seek greener pastures abroad, not to talk of being deported from a country like Turkey. So that this is always a country like Turkey. It's always a very debatable issue, really. And I remember asking people why they're staying back in Nigeria. And people had lots of reasons, but it's always an option. You can either choose to stay or to go. Now, whether or not you're happy staying or your money is not complete is another thing entirely. But take a look at what this next user has to say. Kena Oke says, this isn't the end of the world for them. And I think that's a very good one. It's just a chapter in their story. Deportation isn't as bad as people make it seem okay i'm just gonna leave it there I, that's what this user has to say well this one is from doc with affidavit who says meanwhile some of them have nothing to fall back to after wasting forex selling all they have before leaving hmm. all is well all will be well uh, but we must continue also to do the right things yeah. to keep these people at home Absolutely. in the first place and it speaks to the situation but next one is uh maybe something government is trying to do to mm -hmm. ameliorate the situation for Nigerians. And it's the uh, well, last week's statement that the president has ordered the immediate rollout of a package, an economic and reconstruction package. And right in that package is a disbursement, or at least 155 billion naira budgeted for the purchase and sale of assorted foodstuff uh, nationwide. So Abe underscore Ko says, the distribution should be done by ward councillors at the grassroots, uh, targeting the over 70s, pregnant women, physically challenged, uh, that's people living with disabilities, people affected by chronic illnesses, and the unemployed. Oh, well, and that's so much we can take on a review of some of what you're saying. But of course, the conversation continues this time around as we kick off our first segment. We'll be talking about challenge of insecurity are we witnessing a resurgence of suicide bombings boko haram insurgency in nigeria's northeast we hope to capture all of the questions agitating your minds so stay with us we'll be right back <laughs> 